and welcome to Medical Dialogue General Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. BP Rahul and I am going to talk about time to clinical benefit of intensive blood pressure lowering in hypertensive patients over 60 years of age. For patients of age 60 years and older with hypertension, intensive BP treatment may be appropriate for some adults with a life expectancy of greater than 3 years but may not be suitable for those with less than 1 year as suggested by latest research published in JAMA Network. Recent guidelines recommend a systolic blood pressure goal of less than 150 mm Hg or even 130 mm Hg for adults aged 60 years or older. However, harms from intensive BP treatments occur immediately, for example, syncope or fall, and benefits of cardiovascular event reduction emerge over time. Therefore, harm with the low chance of benefits need to be clearer, particularly for those with a limited life expectancy. The analysis conducted by Tao Chang et al. tried to estimate the time needed to potentially derive clinical benefits from intensive BP treatment in patients 60 years and older. This secondary analysis included individual patient data from published randomized clinical trials with 27,400 14 patients 60 years or older with hypertension, patient level survival data were reconstructed when original data were not available. Published trials were identified by searching PubMed until October 15, 2021. Six trials, original data from two trials and reconstructed data from four trials with 27,414 participants with mean age 70 years out of which 56.3% were women were included in the analysis. The authors found the following results. Intensive BP treatment with a systolic BP target below 140 mm Hg was significantly associated with a 21% reduction in major adverse cardiovascular events. On average, 9.1 months were needed to prevent one major adverse cardiovascular event per 500 patients with intensive BP treatment. Likewise, 19.1 months were estimated to avoid one major adverse cardiovascular event per 200 and 100 patients respectively. The time to benefit as part of this information may help clinicians by providing a framework for therapeutic decision to prioritize and individualize therapies to reduce cardiovascular disease risk expeditiously. Meanwhile, it may also help patients with hypertension to recognize the potential for rapid benefits from the prescribed therapy, the authors concluded. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.